Lung cancer is about the third most common cause of cancer in the UK, but unfortunately it's the leading cancer killer because it's often diagnosed so late. About 8 in 10 people who get lung cancer are over 60, and most but not all are smokers or ex-smokers. Some people can get what's called secondary lung cancer. That's lung cancer which has spread from a tumour that's arisen elsewhere. But most people have lung cancer that's arisen in the lungs. It's really important, therefore, to know the symptoms because the earlier you seek help and the earlier it's diagnosed and treated, the better the outcome. Those symptoms include persistent cough with no obvious reason, coughing up of blood, chest pain, usually a dull aching pain which may go into your shoulder, being off your food, losing weight for no apparent reason, or feeling hoarse persistently. The diagnosis of lung cancer is usually initially made on a chest x-ray, although to confirm that you'll usually need what's called a bronchoscopy, a thin flexible telescope popped down into the lungs to take a sample of the growth, or sometimes a biopsy through the chest wall. The treatment you'll have will very much depend on how aggressive the cancer is, how far it's spread, what type of cancer it is, and whether it's a primary lung cancer or a secondary one. Treatments can include surgery, and sometimes early cancers can be almost completely cured, although you may have chemotherapy to mop up any microscopic cells that could have got away. But other treatments include radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Although most lung cancers are picked up once they have spread to other parts of the body, there's still much that can be done to improve symptoms with treatment.